Hi Leo, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome new viewers, new subscribers. Welcome back existing viewers, existing subscribers. Leo, check out your end of June readings. Check out your July reading. Check out your Sunday spirit messages. I'm doing spirit messages every Sunday for a little pick-me-up, clarification, confirmation, or just advice from spirit. They had a lot to say today, so check those out. Leo, check out your freaking weekend messages as well. Um, check out all of your content, Leo. You can follow me on all my social media. Email me for a personal reading or any of my spiritual bath bundles or any of my spiritual products. These messages are general. They may not resonate with everyone. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watch if I say you're doing this and feeling this way, but it's Leo, flip it. Leo, if I say you're doing this and you're feeling this way and it's cross watcher, flip it. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so this is your person's current feelings. This could have already happened in the past, could be happening now, or could happen a little later on in the future. These messages are indicators. They may come with a storyline, or they may just be words or phrases, okay? And take the messages as they resonate. I use sex as a tool or as a weapon. Somebody will use sex as a tool or as a weapon to keep you stuck, okay? Could have been a Capricorn, someone with Capricorn in their chart. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, I'm actually a Capricorn moon and I'm a Leo. So divine intervention. So divine intervention, universe, your ancestors, guys, whoever you pray to got you out of the situation. Okay. This person didn't know how to communicate. They always communicated really harshly or you guys would get into arguments or fights. All right. This is your sign to leave him alone, sis. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Okay, this person has bitch tendencies, Cancer, or Gemini. You could be dealing with a Cancer or Gemini. This person has bitch ass ten tendencies. They act like a bitch. Or it could be a female. And they just have bitch tendencies. They do bitch ass shit, okay? This person could be a Pisces. Have Pisces in their chart. We got Capricorn and Pisces. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn and the Capricorn is dealing with another person, the Pisces. Or you could be dealing with the Pisces and the Pisces is dealing with another person, a Capricorn. Or if you're not dealing with the person who's dealing with someone else, this it could just be a combination of Capricorn and Pisces energy, okay? Doesn't have to be multiple people, okay? You could have had unprotected sex with this person, all right? Unprotected sex is a plays a key role in here. So soul ties, I'm already getting that. Passive aggressive. So someone uh, communicates very harshly and someone is passive aggressive. So someone plays mind games. Someone could be a narcissist. Emotionally unavailable, yeah. They gaslight you and ghost you if they're emotionally unavailable. Very passive aggressive. I know I messed up. This person is saying they messed up, Okay. It doesn't even have to be the same person. It could just be a random message. But someone says, I know I messed up. So this person knows it. They know it. Especially with this divine intervention coming out to save you, Leo. Or it could be Crosswatcher. Please flip it, y'all. Please flip it. If all of this is your story, Crosswatcher, then just flip it. It don't matter if I say Leo. You're on Leo's reading. All right? Or Leo. Same for you. Okay? Red flags. You've seen them. You will see them. Okay? If need be. Okay? Or if any of this is happening, those are red flags. You will see them. You might not see them or whatever. Okay? Don't give him no pussy. He's broke. Okay? He is broke. There's another red flag. Don't give him no pussy. He is broke. Could have been having unprotected sex with a broke nigga. Okay? But somebody wants to come in for a reunion i don't know who this is this could be a different person don't even have to be this broke person could be a capricorn coming in for a reunion could be a pisces coming in with for a reunion don't have to be either of these people someone is coming in for a reunion doesn't even have to correlate with none of these messages okay voodoo good or bad so somebody knows voodoo and they use it however they choose whether it be good or bad could be doing voodoo to try to plan this reunion, okay? And using sex magic. What's behind here? 
sorry somebody could could have done sex magic could be doing sex magic or will be doing sex magic okay i keep on falling in and out of love with you definitely dealing with a cancer or a gemini all right we have karmic coming out so you could be someone's karmic the person you're dealing with could be dealing with the karmic as well or just the person you're dealing with is your karmic okay so lessons definitely need to be learned here i am manifesting you wow so we see voodoo we saw sex magic and i am manifesting you so this person is intentionally manifesting you or you're unintentionally manifesting them okay somebody wants to escape could be dealing with an aquarius you are this person's escape or some shit like that or they feel like they need to escape out of their situation could be dealing with the gemini kept saying gemini <laughs> could be dealing with the gemini okay someone with gemini in their chart you can have gemini in your chart okay someone suffers from anxiety and depression you could be dealing with an aries marriage is involved you could be married this person could be married you could be married to each other Okay, could be dealing with the Scorpio. So we have a lot of people coming out. We had Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, and Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You could have a combination of all these in your chart. One or two of these in your chart. Two or three of these in your chart. Or just one of these in your chart. It says you are my soulmate. So I'm, I'm already getting multiple people. You are my soulmate. All right. I message you on fake profiles and accounts. Wow, so this person makes fake profiles and accounts and messages you, probably gets all your information, gets your phone number, pretends to be someone and talking to you and shit like that. I hope they wouldn't go that far, but somebody does message you on fake profiles and accounts. I was taught to be this way. This person was definitely taught to be this way. Okay, whoever this is could have multiple partners, you could have multiple partners. I know I was wrong, now I'm paying the price. Okay, yeah, this person was wrong. Now they're paying the price. They're trying to come back. They're manifesting you. They message you off of fake profiles. Now they're talking about, you know, you're their soulmate. If if this um this message is if this message or storyline didn't resonate, we know that someone knows that they were wrong and now they're paying the price they are getting their karma we know that someone is messaging you from fake profiles and accounts we know that someone feels that you are their soulmate we know that someone has multiple partners or had multiple partners we know that someone was taught to be the way that they are could be a scorpio there is marriage involved could be a gemini someone needs an escape someone now knows that they messed up someone suffers from anxiety and depression but someone is manifesting the other person there could have been a karmic involved or could be a karmic involved, but somebody is doing voodoo however they choose. Someone is receiving a sign to leave him alone because he is a player, okay? Someone was emotionally unavailable or is emotionally unavailable. Someone has harsh communication, doesn't know how to speak to anybody. Someone keeps falling in and out of love with you. And someone doesn't need to sleep with that this man anymore because he's broke, okay? Someone is receiving red flags. Someone is doing um, sex magic. Someone is passive aggressive and having unprotected sex possibly with the pisces or someone with bitch tendencies someone who uses sex as a tool or a weapon could be a capricorn okay someone does want to have a reunion with you and we have divine protection here as well okay <sighs> i want to be more than friends so someone who friend zoned you who you finally got over and you're not dealing with now wants to be more than friends with you and someone prays for you. This was the, I think this was the card at the top. At the very beginning. When I was doing my, my announcements. Yeah, so someone prays for you. They're manifesting you. What's going on in Leo's love life? How is this person currently feeling for Leo? If none of that resonated, we do have more in the reading. So, yeah. How is this person currently feeling for Leo? Or what's uh, Leo's love life looking like, please? What's going on for Leo? Thank you, ancestors and guides. Express your love. So they want you to express your love, but they're coming to express their love. Gemini just got this. I'm sorry. It was either Gemini or Cancer. I think it was Cancer or Gemini. It might be a Gemini or Cancer cusp, and they want you to trust them. Give me one more card for Leo. How's this person feeling? 
or what's going on in Leo's love life. Leo, you might have a new person coming in to express their love towards you. Calling in your soulmate. Yeah, it's a soulmate that you're calling in. Okay? Or this person thinks that they're calling you in by manifesting you and praying for you and shit like that. Healing family issues. They want to heal this with you. They've healed their past. Remember, we saw that I was taught this way. I was taught this way. Somebody, yeah, we're going to keep going. What's this person's current feelings for Leo? Three of Cups. They want a reunion. They're spying on you, stalking you, watching your social media, stalking you, stalking you, and stalking you. Did I mention that they were stalking you? They're probably getting their friends to watch you, their family to watch you. I had a private investigator even. Where the fuck is Leo? <sighs> this person, I feel like this person always knew where you were, Leo. You thought that you got away from this person. If not, if not, if this is not someone stalking you, this is just a new air sign coming in to for communication. Coming in, you're going to be celebrating with. If not, this is a, definitely a reunion. The person who's been stalking you wants to reunite with you. Could be a new Aries coming in. Definitely Aries. They, they who we? Yeah, somebody wants to make it right with you. Could be a Libra. Things are gonna definitely be definitely be balancing out. Could be a Gemini. With the magician we saw, I'm manifesting you. They're not playing. This person who's manifesting is not playing, point blank, period. Their feelings for you right now, currently, is that they are manifesting you right now. They're manifesting coming back to you or you coming back to them. Or this is a new person who's had their eye on you. I'm manifesting this Leo. I've seen this Leo. They could have seen you out on the street, seen you on a dating site, or seen you somewhere. Okay? I'm manifesting Leo. Yeah, they're going to come in with light communication, and it's going to end in every single thing that you could have possibly wanted, needed, stability, all of that. They're going to be expressing their love with the Three of Cups, taking you out, celebrating, making things fair with you, manifesting you, okay? And then we have the King and the Queen of Wands. I'm seeing that this is multiple people. Three of Cups, you have multiple people wanting you. A Libra, Aries, and a Gemini. Okay, and a can't see, can't see, someone can't fucking see, can't Sir Pisces Scorpio, damn, can't see, fuck, <laughs> I'm always running my words together, okay, four of wands, yeah, this person definitely wants to reunite with you, you're on a break from someone right now, I don't know who the fuck this person you're on a break with, okay, what's this person's actions towards Leo, ace of pentacles, they're going to give you a solid offer. You could be dealing with a Cancer strongly. Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. But they want the end all be all with you. Expect this person to message you like, hey, let's go out. Let's get some drinks. Or, hey, nice to meet you. Let's go out. Get some drinks. Some shit like that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. The Lovers and the Hierophant. This is, a, this is either a soulmate or a twin flame. If not, it don't have to be all that extra shit people be talking about. You know your story. But this is a higher level of commitment. With the lovers, we saw Gemini come out twice. I see you having children with this person and getting married to this person. Okay, I'm seeing that this person is coming faster than you know. Okay, anything else? Uh... What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? They want to come rushing towards you now. But I think they're going to be patient. What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? Someone rising in Venus. 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 I was going to say Felix. Okay, I don't know who is, whose name is Felix, but fuck it. Okay. Okay. Somebody got the finesse. Finesse. Okay. What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? Ooh, the moon. You're mysterious. They feel like you have secrets, so maybe they have secrets. Could be a cancer. Okay, they're dreaming about you. Definitely definitely a cancer coming towards you. With the chariot, they're dreaming about coming towards you and making things right with you with the star. Wow, the magician came out again. This person is manifesting you. Did I say that they were manifesting you? This person is manifesting you, so their feelings for you is they're calling you in to express their love to you. You don't see this coming. Clarify the moon, please. 
for this person's feelings. They have deep feelings for you and you probably never knew. Or this new person has deep feelings for you that they will be expressing that they're trying to keep undercover. Clarify the moon for this person's current feelings towards Leo. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Juggling. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry. The Ace of Cups is at the bottom. So they do love you. I'm feeling like they're wondering how to express this love to you. But clarify the Two of Pentacles. Because I'm not, I'm not giving this person no room. No wiggle room. <laughs> clarify the Two of Pentacles for this person's feelings towards Leo. You got this person blocked. <laughs> They're juggling whether to come towards you or not. This person is scared. The moon represents fear. They're scared to come communicate. The Knight of Swords came out again twice. So you will be receiving fast communication. But they're stuck in their head. This per I don't know why this person might be in jail. I don't know. I don't know. This don't even have to be a lover. This could be a friend or somebody in jail. And they're trying to communicate with you, okay? You got the Seven of Wands. Somebody's. You got somebody blocked. You feel like. This person feels like if they reach out to you, it might turn into a fight with the Seven of Wands. Like it might be combative or some shit like that. What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. Clarify the Three of Swords. I'm trying to make sure it ain't third party, Leo. I'm trying to make sure. Clarify the Three of Swords. This person broke your heart. You broke their heart. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on it. Uh, it's just a lot going on. Okay, so I'm just seeing two different energies with the two of pentacles. It's two people trying to come towards you. You don't see that coming or you're trying to hide this from both of these people. That is two people coming towards you. Somebody that's heartbroken and wanting a reunion with you and the new person that's coming in fast and a bitch. The knight of swords and the chariot. Could be an Aquarius or a Gemini. Cancer. Strongly. Strong Cancer. Strong Gemini. Or someone with strong Cancer in their chart. Strong Gemini in their chart. Okay, what's this person's actions towards Leo? High Priestess, the fuck do that mean? Hiding shit, keeping secrets, what is this? Clarify the High Priestess for this person's actions. They're trying to manifest you. I'm sorry, that's what Spirit said, the Magician and the High Priestess. So this person is, you see how she got her book? Her book of shadows and shit. Who is this? Clarify the High Priestess for this person's actions towards Leo. King of Swords. They want to communicate you, but they're still closed off. So this could be the past person. I don't know who the fuck this is. The King of Swords isn't emotional, but they are communicative and logical. Okay. They do want to speak with you, but I'm not seeing no emotions in this. I'm not going to lie. I'm not seeing no emotions. Okay. So let me, you got a lot going on, Leo and your season coming up. So y'all probably dating and shit. So show me uh, the past person's current feelings towards Leo. Show me the past person's current feelings towards Leo. Six of Pentacles again. You're dealing with the Cancer. This past person has Cancer in their chart. They're trying to manifest you though. It's going to come as a shock. All right. And you, they're going to make the offer, but you might not accept it. The Magician, the Tower, and the Four of Cups. And the Knight of Swords again. This person is coming out the fucking blue. Out the woodworks. I don't know who that is, but that's the past person. And you're like, where are these feelings coming from? I do see the four cups, but I don't know if that's love or indifference. Okay? Show me the new or current person's feelings for Leo. Really? Go with the new one. Six of cups and the ace of cups. You can't make this up. The new person is the soulmate. The new person is giving you love, offering you love. You're going to have children with this person, like I said. This old person is coming in with communication. They're going to make an offer towards you, and it's going to shock you. But with the Six of Pentacles, I just need to know if they're breadcrumbing you or not. Because they're manifesting you, but I don't. I just don't know what for. Remember all those messages from the beginning and shit? Someone was like, I'm sorry, and all that extra shit. Just a bunch of shit. Okay, show me this person's current feelings for Leo. Dang, Leo, your reading done went on too long. Show me this person's current feelings towards Leo. 
I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, this could be the past person. Show me the new person. I'm pretty sure this is all past energy, but I just want to see the new person. Show me this person's current feelings towards Leo. I'm becoming a better person. This person is a better person than the old person. Okay? Yeah. I love you unconditionally. I feel like they both love you. You're going to have to choose to make a decision. So, please give me... Where's my deck? Here. Okay. So, I'm going to close your reading with random messages from Spirit. They may or may not resonate with the uh, spread, but these are random messages Spirit wants you to know. Thank you for giving me a message for Leo, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take the next step now. Take the next step now. Don't wait for nobody. Take the next step now. Okay? And healing from the past. Yeah. Healing from the past, Leo. You can't make this up. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.